Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to talk about how to leverage high limit secured credit cards to get up to $50,000 in funding. And another added bonus to that, actually, you're not going to be using your own personal money to do this, okay? Now, here's the thing. A lot of talk, I made a recent video about the Sable card and how to leverage it to get the fund. But here's the thing about it. Like with the Sable card, it's awesome that it's no credit check. You don't have to have any credit history. You don't have to have a social security number. You can get unsecured within four months, okay? That's the killer about this here car and why everybody is possibly rushing to this here car because now the maximum amount that they're willing to give you is $10,000, okay? Now, there's no annual fees or other fees as well, and you can fund this with a PayPal account, a Venmo, or Zelle, and because of the new IRS tax rules, this does not affect you transferring money from your uh, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle over to this card to get that high primary trade line. This is very important in order for you to get more money. Now, here's one more card, okay? This is the State Department Federal Credit Union Savings Secured Platinum Card. Now, this here card, they don't do no hard pull. No annual fee. Now, you can join this credit union through the American Consumer Council. Here's the killer. This card, they do $100,000 secured funding. The only thing that sucks about this is that it only graduates after 12 months. However, you're databasing an internal scoring. So with the credit union, is they use internal score. So if you have a personal, personal checking account, savings account, and you have a high limit secured card, it makes it easier for you to get their other unsecured credit cards, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to beef up your credit report for that as well. Now, Here's the thing about it. These loans that I'm going to be telling you about, they don't do a hard pull on your credit. They're not concerned about your credit. Sometimes they would may look at the third-party credit bureaus like Clarity, which is owned by Experian, Data X, which is owned by Equifax, Factor Trust, which is owned by TransUnion. Sometimes they may even look at LexisNexis. But they're, what they're looking for is to see if you defaulted on any recent loans or are you in the middle of a bankruptcy. Now, Here's the thing that you have to understand when you're getting up, getting ready to apply for these here uh, loans. All right. This is so important in terms of what will get you denied in terms of if you don't have enough income. OK, so that's the reason I tell people to make sure you include not only your income, but if you're married, your spouse income. If you have a roommate that's sharing bills with you, then you need to include their income as well, okay? Because, again, most lenders, they look at your disposable income to see what you actually qualify for, all right? So that's why this is very important. Now, some of the lenders that I want to talk about, starting at the starting with the maximum of ten thousand, you have Credit USA personal loans. They don't worry about the credit. They're looking at how long you've been, um, and the, how long you've been on your job, how long you've been at your residence, how much your income is. Okay, and also if you have a bank account. Now, if you're in check systems or whatever. That may not stop you from getting a loan through them. And also, the cool part about it is not only do they look at the traditional lenders to help you find money, but they look at uh, like casinos as well that loan money for uh, people. Now, you also have another company called Credit Loans. Credit Loans, they have a potential 90% uh, approval chance on theirs. Now, their loans go from 250 to 40,000, okay? You have to have a bank account. Unfortunately, they're not available in New York and Connecticut, but even if you have bad credit, they can loan you up to 5,000. Now, you may be asking, well, Houston, 
what does this have to do with me getting primary trade lines and what does those Sable and the Southern Credit Union? Here's the thing about it. Here's, here's what you need to understand. Say that you get the $10,000 loan, okay? Take the $10,000 loan. You're going to put it on the Sable card. You're going to start using that Sable card, but you only want to use maximum 30%. Okay, of that card. Don't go over that max of 30%. But you want to use a maximum of 30% for the next four months. The reason you want to do that is so it's still reporting a high trade line, but at the same time is manageable as well as giving you that leverage. So then when that uh, $10,000 become unsecured, Okay, now that that ten thousand dollars come becomes unsecured, what you can do is, if you're a member of Navy Federal uh, Credit Union, and I would definitely tell you if you can try to become a member of Navy Federal Credit Union, they have a secured card that you can put two hundred dollars on, and after six months it becomes two thousand. People have tried to unsecure this before the six months, and they won't do it. OK, the reason is because they need to sh you need to show proof that you can actually make on time payments and manage the car for at least six months. But it turns into a two thousand dollars. But that's not the reason you want to be in Navy Federal. You want to use that as a data point. But that's not the reason you want to do it. Here's the reason you want to be a part of Navy Federal, because if you have a five thirty five fifty five five. 580 credit score and you have a savings account, a personal account, you have a secured card. Now you have more data points that they can look at. Okay. Especially if you have deposit going on. So I always tell people try to deposit more money, even if it's on a weekly basis with them, because what's going to happen is it's possible that you can start getting those 10, 15, $25,000 credit cards, even with a 530 credit score. Right. So I'm talking about the Navy Federal American Express, the Navy Federal uh, flagship card, which goes all the way up to eighty thousand dollars. OK, now that's the thing about it in terms of leveraging. So, like I said, that that fourth month uh, go, following going into that fifth month, that Sable card unsecured. So now you have that ten thousand dollar trade line. You have ten thousand dollars back. I would tell you. To, if you have any outstanding debts that you haven't missed any payments on, then I would set up a debt snowball and pay down my smallest and my largest debt first. The reason is it's going to boost up your credit score as well. Now, here's another thing that it's very important when you're trying to get more funding is to add as many positive trade lines as possible. So that's the reason I'm talking about Grow Credit. You have a uh, perch with those two companies. They report uh, subscriptions, car insurance, utilities, cell phones. So you need that type of trade line. Experian Boost, you can add that on. Now, you also need... To if you say that you're going to be making 80000 100000 and you don't have a mortgage, so you need to have rent reporting, right? So in terms of rent reporting, these are the companies, they report to all three. There are 15 different rent reporting companies. I'll make a separate video so you can know, but these are the ones that actually report to all three. Now, if you're paying cash or with a money order, then you want to sign up with plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-Q. And what you want to do there with the plastic, sign up with your credit card and pay your rent so that way that can start reporting on your credit and that's how you actually end up qualifying for a mortgage with a FHA mortgage. Now, also adding authorized users. Authorized users, your FICO 9. Okay, this is so important because a lot of people don't do this. But what happens now that you have boosted your credit score up to at least a 680, 690? Now, there's other cards that you can go out there, and I would use my FICO 9 credit score. Now, if you don't know the difference between your FICO 8 credit score, FICO 9, click the link below, get your FICO report, schedule a 30-minute consultation, and I'll go over with you line by line 
um, about your credit report so you can understand the difference between your FICO score as well as your Vantage score. This is something that's very important because it's going to give you more leverage so that you can actually raise more money. Okay? That's very important. Now, once your credit score is a 680, 690, what you want to do, you can go after um, upgrade, upgrade credit cards. You can go after Patel. Upgrade credit cards go up to 50000 okay? With their loans and credit cards, goes up to 50000 okay? Now, you also can go after Patel. Patel uh, credit cards, they have two credit cards, the one and two. Patel one goes from 300 up to 5000 The Patel two goes from 300 up to 10000 okay? So they're pulling from FICO 9. All right. Uh, upgrade, I think, is TransUnion FICO 9. Patel 2 is uh, Experian FICO 9. OK, but this is very important to help you build up that credit to get the funding. And the cool part about it, you did not use any of your money. You just put the strategy. I just showed you where to get the money from how to fill out the application so that you can actually be able to get as much funding as you need for whatever projects you're working on. Now, the last thing I'm going to tell you about this situation so that you can get the maximum amount of funding. I know there are 0% interest credit cards out there. However, if I were you guys, this is what I do. Once I have enough primary trade lines on my personal credit file and my credit score is up about 680, 690, then what I would do, I would look for zero interest business credit cards. So like with US Bank, with Citibank, Wells Fargo. So I would get zero interest credit cards. That way, if you need to use a credit card, make sure it's a business credit card. So that way, if you max it out, long as you continue making payments, it will not affect your personal credit. Okay? So this is Houston with three-way funding. If you have any questions about setting up your uh, business, how to get business funding, how to get personal credit funding, then click the link and schedule one-on-one -on -one consultation as well as if you need to look at your personal credit report, then pull your credit report. The FICO uh, link is in the description. Make sure you get the $39.99 because that program will actually give you more data points. All right. So this is Houston with three-way funding. Thank you.